Hey, what's up, DigiLeaks, and let's talk DigiChat.com. My name is Trey Johnson, and I'm going to show you how to install a basic web uh, DigiChat server. Um, I'm going to be hosting these videos on YouTube again, and I will be hosting, well, not hosting, but I will be uh, uploading my videos on a file sharing host if you guys want to uh, use that. I've noticed a lot of Arabics <coughs> go into Arabic forums and stuff they would take my videos and basically upload it on another web server or they're uploaded to um, their YouTube account so I'm just gonna make it accessible to everybody that way uh, I won't be deleting them but you can make probably make some money off the videos that I've made but anyway what I'm gonna show you today is how to install a DigiChat so let's go ahead and do that. So let's get your basic web server, which is going to be a BIS web server, run as administrator, and you click yes. Um, it's going to pop up, and you want to agree to the terms. You're going to click next. Um, if you have a D drive with more space, click your D drive. But for this demonstration, we're going to use the C drive as a default. It's going to install the components which you can see all the shit it's installing. Uh, we're going to do a manual startup because this is only demonstration purposes only. Uh, I'm not trying to host it on my PC. So uh, I'm going to do a manual startup. Uh, if you were to do automatic startup on user login, that would you would restart your compu computer, then you would log into your PC, your desktop, and then this service would start up, basically. Um, so you don't have to do it yourself. Um, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to do manual startup. But you can leave it as default right here. <coughs> click OK. And then setup has completed. Start a BIS web server. Now you're going to click yes. All right. The configuration file was created. Press OK to continue to the console access configuration. What that's going to do is it's going to pop up your web browser to your default web browser, I guess. And you're going to choose uh, a language. Just give it a minute. Okay. Um, if you're uh, if you're an Arabian, uh, you would choose the Arabic language. If you're from France, uh, whatever, choose that. If you're American or English or British or whatever, you choose English. All right. It wants to give you a login, so it wants to log in from you. So you just create any login you want. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, my login is going to be corrosion, and my password is going to be corrosion, and my password is going to be corrosion again. It's, you're going to have to enter that in two times. So that's one time. So click OK, and then we're going to do it again. Okay. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using my uh, local host, 127.0.0.1, which is our host. For your guys, you want to access it, you want your digital server to be accessed through the public. So, you would have to actually go to ipchicken.com, get your your numbers that they display here somewhere on the page and then you would actually type that in you do http colon slash slash and then the numbers that they give you and then you click enter and it would if you were to use a bis web server it would show this page now if you're having trouble and uh, difficulties with that uh, I would do http colon slash slash your fucking numbers it it displays for you whatever 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 and then do that. Hold on, let me uh, make this little slash. I don't know what the fuck that is, but do 80. And then click enter. And if that's not loading for you, you have to port forward uh, 80. Do you want to. No, fuck that shit. Anyway, um, anyway, so it's hosted on port 80. So we're just going to close that out. Um.
there are tutorials on how to put forward on uh, fucking YouTube, so you can just check that one out. Now it's time for us to install our DigiChat crap. Okay, so to install that, we're going to copy, paste. Now this is important. Since I'm installing it on a Windows 7 computer, Windows 7 has a file permissions that has trouble writing, I guess. So we're going to go to properties. We're going to change the compatibility. Yours is going to be like that. So you can just check that. Do Windows XP Service Pack 3 or Service Pack 2, whatever you got. You run this program as administrator and click apply and click OK. This is only for to write files. I, hold on. Oops. Oh, this is one to write files on your PC. All right, I'm gonna run as administrator. Click yes. It's gonna install. <laughs> there are DigiChat keychains out there you can get, so you can register the the product. For mine, we're just gonna use somebody else's keys. Well, I made these keys, but I don't feel like getting the key gen out. Um, okay. Let me backtrack. Alright. It says, thank you for choosing DigiChat. I register copies of DigiChat run for 72 hours. To register for a free 15-day demo. Alright. DigiChat is no more. They're not doing this shit no more. They consider it V4 as a free product. So, don't worry about that shit. We're going to give you a license to click next. Of course, agree to the terms. Click next. Agree to the terms. Click next. You can install this wherever the fuck you want. If you want to install it on your desktop, you can install it on your desktop. But for neatness and productivity, we're going to install it in our C drive in our program's file. No. Keep the current color scheme. All right. <clears throat> so that's done. Just leave it. Click next. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't really have to worry about this. If your PC, if you're having Java issues, then you would do this. If you're not, and Java is already installed and working properly. Don't fucking worry about it. Okay. Click next. Do a full install. We're not doing DigiChat Chatmaster. Just do a full install. Because you want the server and you want the DigiChat ma Chatmaster. If you already have your server running and it happened <coughs> to delete the Chatmaster part, you just install that. Anyway, click next. This is just going to be a, a preview of the output that it's installing. You can actually find this um, in one of the files that's in your DigiChat server. I forget what it's called though. Fuck it. Um, it's the XML folders or file. Click install. Okay, now it's going to install everything that you need to make DigiChat work. Okay. So just give it a minute. Alright, now we're at the company name, the order number, and the serial number. If you don't have a license, I suggest you use mine my company name is when I had the website up but I never really did anything with it ultimate hosting you can actually change the name like I think yeah you can change the name whatever the fuck you want but anyway six one four nine seven five two six four and then our serial number is capital D C six three one so six three one dash uh, <laughs> uh, I should have clicked the bottom one three twenty twenty four so three twenty 24 dash gl dash 
281. Okay, click next. All right, now we gotta do the OR number and the key. So the OR number will be 11776111. Two six three zero 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 ten twenty three, and then our key would be capital D C two eight four, and then one two three four four zeros ten twenty three. And twenty three zero eight thirty eight two zero eight thirty eight two, and then click next. Um, your host name can be guest one PC, which is going to be localhost. So you can just put localhost if you want it, or you can just do guest. Leave it how it was. Since we're using Abyss, you need to locate your Abyss web server folder which is in our C drive and go to htdocs. htdocs is where everything can be viewable. So save it and then you click next and then it says congratulations the chat has been successfully installed. Click next. Uh, the installation of DigiChat before is complete but some errors occur. You may not get that but don't worry about it. Okay, now here's the thing. Let's go to computer, let's go to C drive, let's go to Abyss Web Server. Let's go to htdocs. Even though we installed it, we have to run the Digitat server service first and, and then it's going to install your configuration files. So our Abyss Web Server is running so far. So you're going to click it, right click. Go to run as administrator, <laughs> click yes. It's going to run the service. You can right click, go to start task manager, and you should see it running right there. That's interesting. It looks like our DigiChat looks like our DigiChat thing is not working. It's not creating a DigiChat folder. All right, let's end the process. Let's do that again. Let's go to properties, compatibility. Run this Windows XP. Run as administrator. Do it again. Run as administrator. Click yes. Huh. Okay. Wonder why it's not working. All right. Well. <clears throat> let's go ahead and uninstall it. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to install into another fresh copy. All right, so I uninstalled it. Now, let's delete these. Let's, let's try that again, shall we? Again, you can click next, next, next. That's fine. Next, next. Full install, next. Install, install. Okay. Again, it's going to be ultimate hosting. And then our order number. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to do it.
or key. next okay leave this alone maybe that was the reason why it was fucking up just don't touch it again we're gonna go to computer we're gonna go to C drive this web server HT docs and then we're just gonna leave it right there click save again don't touch this I want to see if this is the problem click next click done that was the problem. So don't add localhost. Um, all right, now let's go to our start computer. <coughs> go to C. Go to C drive. Go to BIS web server and go to htdocs. As you can see, we have no Digitap folder here, so we're going to start the service to make and create one. Run as administrator. There we go. So go to DigiChat, all your shit. So people can view that, all these files right here. So if they type in 127, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna show you. If they type in your IP address, 127. Your IP address will be different from mine. I'm doing mine on localhost. And they type in uh, Digichat. They'll be able to see it. Alright. Now I'm going to show you that it's working, it's running, it's. Everything. We're going to log in as admin. The default password for admin is capital D, and then the rest is lowercase. It's going to be E F A U L T default basically. So click connect. Okay, that's the wrong password. Okay, then it's Digichat. So capital D, all lowercase I G I capital C, all lowercase C uh, H A T. So Digichat. Okay. As you can see, we're logged in. You can, I recommend that you log in and change your password right away but for this demonstration purposes why not now I'll go to chat master and type in capital D type default basically so it's capital D E F A U L T our host is localhost and our default site ID is 1000 so connect we are logged in That's how you install DigiChat. Now to create or to install a, a DigiChat patch, you're gonna have to go to Task Manager and stop the DigiChat server. My next video is gonna be how to patch it. See you later.